Atlanta Opera did this production, a version of it, in 2016, and I was delighted, I was thrilled when I was invited back to do it again. And I said to them on day one, look, we're not starting from scratch, but we are in a sense starting over because um, I want this to be our pirates right now, here and now. Like, what do you bring to the role? What are, what are your tricks? What do you love to do? You know, what are you good at? So there's a template, there's a, a plan that exists, but uh, I, I'm not interested in, in doing what we did before. We're finding new jokes, we're cutting old stuff. So that's the magic of theater. It's never the same way twice, even from night to night. Being an old dancer myself, I, I know there's something special to performer's intuition. So I always listen. This production of Pirates of Penzance, I would say, is pretty highly choreographed. And the performers have to be quadruple threats. We say triple threats, singing, acting, dancing. These singers have to play comedy. You know, virtuosity is, is taking something very difficult to do and making it look easy. So um, I kill them with kindness, and uh, I'm very diplomatic, and I think I'm a good coach. And uh, if I make it fun and get them to laugh at themselves and, and get them to understand mistakes are great teachers. You know, if you make a mistake, that taught you what not to do. And uh, we just finished a dance rehearsal and uh, a lot of laughter in the room, a lot of joy. And boy, do we need that now. The Pirates of Penzance, I think, has been so successful for well over 100 years because it's witty, it's clever, the tunes are beautiful. People know the tunes without even knowing they're, they're from the show, they're that popular. But you know, it's a classic story of love and longing, regret, all that great stuff that makes wonderful art and poetry. There's even a song in the show where they say, hail poetry, and talk about how important poetry is. So we have this topsy-turvy world with pirates and orphans and policemen and a family of 16 daughters and this wonderful Gilbert and Sullivan kind of melodrama that is laugh out loud funny. I'm so excited to share this with Atlanta Opera's audience. Anxious for people to see it again, anxious for people to see it for the first time, and anxious for people to be what Martha Graham calls a divine normal, right? A human being. To see yourself reflected, you know? To forget about the world for a while. Positive tests, negative tests, canceled flights. Let art do its job. Be nourished, have your soul nourished a little bit, and just have a good old time at Atlanta Opera. You did it! Yay. Amazing! What a pleasure! I can't believe I got to just stand here and enjoy it. Uh, really, really great.